five score years ago, a great American in whose symbolic shadow we stand today signed the Emancipation Proclamation. This momentous decree came as a great beacon light of hope to millions of Negro slaves who had been seared in the flames of withering injustice. It came as a joyous daybreak to end the long night of their captivity. I have a dream. My four little children one day live in a nation where they will not be judged by the color of their skin, but by the content of their character. I have a dream today. This will be the day. This will be the day when all of God's children be able to sing with new meaning my country tears of me. We land of liberty of the I sing. Land where my fathers died, land of the pilgrims cry, from every mountainside. I'm Dr. Alveda King, niece of Dr. Martin Luther King, Jr. I greet you today, and I just want to share with you a little bit about my family and my history. My uncle, Dr. Martin Luther King, Jr., during his lifetime, was a Republican as was my father, his brother, Reverend A.D. King, and my grandfather, Dr. Martin Luther King, Sr. The Republican Party historically has supported the rights of the oppressed. During the times of slavery, many of the abolitionists were Republicans. Today, we have another issue that is affecting the lives and freedom of many of Americans. Those are the little babies, the preborn. And so as the niece of Dr. Martin Luther King, Jr., I want to encourage you today to remember the rights of all people, from the womb to the tomb. Dr. King said, injustice anywhere is a threat to justice everywhere. Dr. King also said that the Negro cannot win if he's willing to sacrifice the futures of his children for immediate per personal comfort and safety. And so today I encourage you, as you make very important decisions, on whom you will vote for, to remember to vote for your values and vote for life, liberty, and justice. Let freedom ring, and if America is to be a great nation, this must become true.